Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ernie with Learning Construction. And on this video, we're gonna talk about the stretch. Okay, so as I mentioned before, um, if you guys are familiar with framing, and you use a stick framing like we have over here, or balloon framing, as it's always known, uh, the walls, by the time you're framing them and you're getting ready for sheetrock, should be checked to make sure that they are straight. Okay, you know, as, as you know, wood over time will warp and twist and bow and as it's drying it will shrink and it will make uneven parts on your wall. And what we're doing when we're, we're checking for the stretch is making sure that your wall is completely smooth before you put the sheet on. This is an important step because if you don't do this, you will find out that your wall is not doing what, exactly what you want it to do. And it's going to be all wavy and you're going to be happy with the end of the So, what you do Basic step to the straight edge is you have a long level or a long piece of metal and you follow it along the wall to help you identify the areas that you're gonna be that they might be out. You also wanna be checking for the areas that might be strong or they're basically on the opposite side like you can see over here. Now we'll be checking out your level vertical point. So the step is horizontal line and we can go with a vertical like this. You can go side by side. This will help you determine that your blocks or your window headers, for example here, you want to make sure that your window headers are not sticking out further far away from the wall. And then Cross, cross side. You cross side it, you will, you will see, for example, on this portion over here, you can see how here the level is not touching this wall. It's touching this wall here, but it's not touching this one here. And that would basically make the wall all the way. So we're going to have to add paper on this one, and we're going to have to plane this one over here. My good friend Javier over here is going to show us how real spreading is. He has plenty of experience doing it. And he's also going to show us a real neat trick to determine which walls need to be plain and which ones just need to be added so, so wood. Hi guys. Well, my name is Javier. I'm working with UGR. I heard Puerto Ernesto with this at the learningconstruction.com. You guys know about it? Today, we're learning about the strategy. How you're gonna be, make straight that wall, okay? First time, you need to have one piece of plywood, metal, then the level. First time, you need to check your plywood, like this one, piece of plywood with the factory. And then, you need to check if it's gonna be straight or not. Alright? See? That one is gonna be straight. Okay, every time you try to use the factory edge, don't use the bottom. Okay, first time, we need to check the bottom. Every time, we start in the bottom. Like this one, we have this one right here. First time, we need to check over here. The bottom, all the studs has to be in line. You can see over here, we got a bump. See? We have the bump over here. You can hit it with the hammer. Make a line, double check. Now it's better. We don't have the bump, right? Now, over here we have this one. You can see that level? Oh, it's gonna be bump. Headed over here in this line. So this one has to be the, the bad one. We need to head it. Make it straight. Now it's better. Okay, you can see it over here. We don't have the bump. Every time, when you start it, just the bottom. First thing in the morning. Don't check the center. Don't check the top. 
you need to check the bottom first, okay? You got the part already, we check the whole wall, right here. Can you slide the level like that? Uh oh, we got something over here. Now this one, we have a problem with this one. We need to hit it with a hammer. Half a little bit. That one is the longer one. We have too many nails over here. We have all this stuff. It's hard to move it with a hammer. You need to do do it with a planer. You can see right here. We have the bad one. That one is the bad one. Why we start in the bottom? Now we know we have a problem with this one. You have a market. You have spray or something like this one, you need to mark it. Now you remember which one is the bad one. Follow the bottom. Now we skip that one because we know that one is the bad one. So we continue over here. See, you can see it. The bottom was good. Over here, we got the problem over here right now.